Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. So May 2020, but keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you. And I don't intend this reading to be old energy. I've gotten some comments on a couple of them. Oh, this is old energy. No, it's not old energy. You might not want to hear what I have to say. So let's just see what we got for May. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have coming up for May? Woman holding heart. So Libra, you may be. This could be you if you were the woman. But this is obviously a woman, right? This is a woman. So we have a woman that is holding her heart. Okay? She has some scars. She has been hurt. This could be you if you are the feminine watching this. Or if you are the masculine, the man watching this. This is who you're dealing with. This is a big hearted woman. This woman has been hurt. She's been hurt. She may be guarded. She may be holding on to her heart because she's afraid to give it away. She's obviously very beautiful. So we have a very beautiful woman here. This is an empress. This is an empress. This is somebody who is very abundant. Okay? Uh, she's very valuable. She knows her value. That's why she it, That's why she still has it. I mean, she's still holding on to it because she's afraid to give it away. It's probably been ripped out. Her heart has been ripped out. So we do have a very loving woman here who has had her heart ripped out in the past. Uh, it looks as though she's getting ready to give her heart away, though. She looks like she's getting ready. She's, It's big. It's huge. She's a huge heart. And she's, she may be, you know, it's ready. It's, it's up for offer here by the looks of things. It's like, see my heart? You want it? You want it? You want it? You know what I mean? This is like, um, this is obviously a big opportunity for love here. Somebody obviously sees this big hearted woman. It's really hard to miss. I mean, it's, you can't miss it. You can't miss this woman's heart. It's huge. It's, it's easy to see. It's easy to see. So we have a big hearted woman here. Um, and she's, she could be holding back. It looks like she's holding back. She looks like she is, is uh, reluctantly going to try again. Ooh, six of pentacles. Now, the six of, six of pentacles is generosity. It is a gift giving reciprocation. It's almost like deciding to give to somebody else. So somebody is deciding to give to somebody else. There's some sort of curiosity here. There's curiosity. You didn't expect it. Caught off guard. There's definitely um, not prepared. Definitely not. We have somebody here that wasn't prepared. Was not a prepared to receive this opportunity. So he wasn't, somebody wasn't prepared to receive this golden opportunity. This woman's heart is huge. It's huge. And now they're very curious. They're very interested. I think that there's some sort of conversation that is being had that sparks somebody's curiosity. It's, and it feels like this is, um, it's a surprise. It's definitely a surprise. All of a sudden, somebody, it came out of the, it was, it was very unpredictable. It came out of the blue. You didn't see it coming. You didn't see it. All of a sudden, it's right here. All of a sudden, there's this opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. It's a real opportunity. It's a real opportunity. Somebody's curiosity has been uh, really sparked. This is taking a new approach, um, getting a new idea. All of a sudden, 
I think there's going to be some direct communication with somebody. You could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And it's, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of back and forth. There's reciprocation. That you totally were not prepared. You weren't prepared for this. You didn't, you didn't see it. You didn't see it coming. You weren't looking for it. You weren't looking for it. You were staying where you're at, doing your own thing, and all of a sudden, here it is. That's the way I feel. This is a this is like a, a stable, a stable situation, a stable opportunity. We have a hard worker here, somebody that is a very hard worker. Hmm. Oh, wow. This person is abundant too. They're abundant. They're just enjoying life, which I could I saw that already. I'm just enjoying life, doing your own thing, not looking, loving your independence, and all of a sudden there's somebody here that sparks your interest. Or you spark theirs. There's gonna be some direct communication from somebody that um seems to have a really big heart. If you are the feminine watching this, somebody is interested in you, okay? There's there could be an age difference as well. This is a yes. It's a yes. You have manifested something. Now, this is a very masculine energy. This is a golden opportunity, and it's happened. This is like, it's magical, okay? This is like magic. It's like you, this is you, this is like, this is as above, so below. You called it in. It's like this is some, and you may have called this in subconsciously. You, you didn't even see it coming, but it's what you've been asking for. We have somebody here that has been independent, just living life, doing their own thing, enjoying life, whatever. And all of a sudden, something happens, and they get this golden opportunity. And if you think, if you add this pentacle to this nine, it, it could equal the ten of pentacles. It, act, it could equal long-term, permanent security. So all of a sudden, I feel like something enters, or sparks your curiosity, or enters your life, and there's direct communication with somebody that could lead to something long-term. It's like, wow. Wow, financially stable, abundant, secure. It's like I, I see, because this person sees that this person is very secure, very comfortable, doesn't need anybody. That's exactly what they want. So this is a yes, yes. So you may be saying that, yes, yes, this is what I want. Yes, yes, yes. Whoever, this is somebody who is very intelligent, very skilled, very skilled. We have a very skilled individual that may have called in a soulmate, okay, which is interesting, or a new opportunity, okay, and this doesn't have to be a soulmate, it's just, oh my God, it's very unexpected. You have an unexpected opportunity for love here, you do. This, this is, you didn't ask for it. This isn't who you asked for, okay? This isn't what you asked for. And we, this is like an angel, and this woman is looking up at this angel saying, this isn't who I asked for. What are you talking about? This isn't who I asked for. And this guy's looking at her like, yes, I am who you asked for, you know? Give me a chance. Will you please give me a, can, can I please have a chance? And she's like, no, you know, I don't, I guess so. I guess I'll give you a chance, but you're not who I had in mind. You know, I wasn't really looking or something like that. You know, that's just, a, whatever. I think we have two people that are going to, uh, come together. It's, it's very unexpected. And I, this is definitely calling in a soulmate. I knew that it was. I said, they said calling in a soulmate before this soulmate card came out. So we have a soulmate connection here that has happened uh, spontaneously. It's happened very suddenly. It's very much out of the blue. And, and this is like, I'm not sure if I want this. I wasn't asking for this. I wasn't looking for this. So, you know, it's so I think we have somebody here that may be uh, fearful, you know, that now there now there's an opportunity for love and it's like, no, I wasn't looking for this. I wasn't looking for this. So there's a level of discontent and 
uh, feeling unsure. They're definitely feeling unsure of this connection. It feels, yes, there's a sexual connection, there's a sexual attraction. There's some sort of attraction here uh, that says, yes, 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 just do it, just do it, just do it. But there's a level of, uh, I'm not sure, you know, discontent, I'm not sure. All of a sudden, this person has come in, they're what you asked for, they can, they can give you balance, they can bring balance into your life, they will reciprocate with you, it will be an opportunity to... Um, be with somebody to be with somebody but you will probably have to make a decision to focus on the future okay and to step into unknown territory there's definitely a choice and there's a choice between two okay this is a choice between two it always is you can choose to stay in the past where you've been and maybe if you've been single you've been alone whatever somebody may have been waiting they've been may have been waiting for another offer you know they've been waiting for somebody in particular per se it's like oh i've been waiting for this person i've been waiting for this person to come around now this angel from above has brought in somebody else and it's like oh and and so it's like you look up at this angel says not who I asked for it's not who I asked for but this is who we have in mind this is really who you who you uh, called in this is the one that we have in mind for you this is the one that is going to reciprocate this is the one that you deserve this is the one that is going to <coughs> love you so I feel as though we have. Um, a new opportunity that comes in out of the blue, okay? I think that you're caught off guard by this. I feel like uh, the feminine in this scenario is is uh, very independent, very, has been hurt very badly in the past, and she is reluctant to open her heart, but she probably will. She probably will. I feel like uh, the masculine is going to take action, because this this is a the jet the uh, magician is a masculine energy, so the magician is going to take action. He takes action to bring success. He's going to communicate with her and try to convince convince her to give him a chance. And I but I think this feminine is going to be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I kind of don't want to give up my independence, or you know, I'm fearful. I'm fearful of getting hurt. Fearful, but I I might. I might. So I feel like there is a decision that is going to be made. I think we have a masculine that is going to try to get this feminine to open up. Um, it may start with sex, okay? It may start with sex and lead to something more. This is what you called in. This is what you deserve. This person will reciprocate. Will be a, a it will be a equal relationship, not a one-sided. You were not prepared for this. This was unpredictable. Um, it was definitely meant to happen. It was meant to happen at this time. Everything happens for a reason. This person is going to help you to get over your sadness. They're going to help you to see if you give them a chance. Um, this person may not be your usual type. They are not your usual type. They are certainly not the person that you asked for. Okay, there's it's somebody else. It is definitely somebody else. This is somebody that you will feel comfortable with. Um, it's a perfect match. It may not seem like it, a per it is a perfect match, but it is a perfect match. This person you have will have some shared values with, okay? And I feel like you could fall in love with this person if you give them a chance. So I think we have uh, a sudden uh, opportunity that has... Uh, basically drunk jumped it's jumped into the picture okay it's it's it came out of nowhere it totally came out of nowhere it's caught you off guard you may be dealing with somebody who is a public speaker or they speak publicly or they just have a lot very direct communication they communicate very directly and that could be you there's direct direct communication going on here 
Um, eight of Pentacles reversed. Now the Eight of Pentacles reversed is not putting in much effort into uh, finding somebody. That's what it was. We had somebody here that wasn't really looking. They weren't really looking. Here it is. And they, they always say that, right? It comes when you least expect it. Well, here you go. That is exactly what this is. It comes when you least expect it. One more card. Ah, the hangman reversed. Now this is about... Um, you, somebody has wasted a lot of time. They've been struggling. They've been struggling to let go of the past. They've been struggling to move on from something they've been hanging on to. They've been focusing on a loveless situation, missing opportunities for love. Now there's a angel or a God or a higher power that has, has brought in them a perfect opportunity for love. And it's time to let yourself go. It's time to let go of what you've been hanging on to because this is a perfect opportunity for love. It's actually what you've been asking for. So my advice is to take it. It's time to reconnect and come out of isolation. It's time to uh, stop being lonely and stop being sad and and uh, come out of that cave and live again. So anyway, Libra, I feel as though you have an unexpected choice in love with somebody that is absolutely, positively perfect for you. But I feel like the feminine is going to be uh, unsure. But she can be persuaded. And I think this man is going to put in effort to persuade her. Good luck. <laughs> 